this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make color concrete and specifically how to match existing color concrete. So what we have here is a band with color concrete in it around this entire driveway. We have a, um, a different color band and a different finish than the driveway. But in order to mix your concrete and get the color, especially if you're matching something, what you want to do is get your pigment from uh, what I use is a Davis color. It's an integral that you mix with the concrete. So what you have to determine first of all is uh, how many sacks of cement are in that concrete mix that you're going to be using. I'm using a seven sack concrete mix. I'm going to bag mix it. So I know I've got seven sacks of cement. Now I'm not going to be mixing a yard at a time. And the basically on these color charts that you buy this color with, color uh, for, it shows you for this particular color, it's two and a half pounds per sack of cement. So however much, uh, and that's based on a yard of concrete. So if I have a yard of concrete, there's seven sacks in it. So you have to multiply seven sacks times uh, 2.5 pounds of the color and that's how much you put in. But I have broke it way down and what I've determined is uh, the quantity of cement in, uh, in five 60 pound bags of concrete mix. So I'm going to use a scale to actually um, make each batch um, the right amount of color for every load so it's consistent all the way through because I'm going to be doing about five mixes of uh, five sacks each 60 pounders so what I've done is uh, I broke it down to uh, the quantity of cement in this in each batch so I know the, how much color to put in Now, if you're not matching anything, then all you have to do is just put the same amount of color in each batch and you'll be fine. But since we're matching something, we had to determine how much cements in each uh, mixture we're doing, each batch. So we, we saw cut both sides of this because they had some rebar dowels coming out from the driveway. So we saw cut it first on both sides and then we uh, broke out the concrete that way we could keep as clean an edge as possible we did get one chip in the driveway but uh, we're pouring the same color in the patio and that's in a different video and that's some stamp concrete so I took a little cream off of the other job when we were pouring and I used that for my patch out here in the driveway on that little chip there when we were breaking this out so it should be a really good color match now you notice this band is going in really dark compared to the adjoining band. Well, that's typical of concrete. It normally goes in a lot darker than the end result. And usually it takes about a good 45 days before you really see the natural color. And if you're in the shade a lot, it could take longer than that. The main reason this band came out is because when they put the band in, they matched it to the garage floor. The garage floor was not level. It had cracked in the middle and it raised. So when they put the band back in and matched the garage floor, the garage door, when it came down, you have big gaps under both sides. So now that we put this band back in, we put it in level, not matching the garage floor level. So you, now you have a little, about an inch, inch and a half step up in the center. That garage floor could uh, potentially come out later and then you could match the garage floor to the band. Well, one thing is for sure when you do it like this, the water is never going to go in the garage because you have that step there now. So we're going to joint this up and make it look like the rest of the bands, which has a joint about every four feet. 
I'm going to use a three quarter inch deep with a half inch radius joiner, half inch radius um, edger. We're going to do a light broom finish. Here's the broom I like to use. It's a uh, 50% horse hair and 50% nylon. Gives you a real nice finish. You could have this concrete mix with this color delivered from a ready mix concrete company. But since it's only about a quarter yard of concrete, you would have had to order. They'll only deliver two yards when it's color because that's the only way they can get the color right. Although I hand mix this a lot less and I just um, scaled out every, every um, batch to the right quantity of color. So I got a nice consistent mix. So it's a lot less money when you do it this way, in other words. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, um, subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact me any way that you want.